today in sunny July, Los Angeles, we're gonna talk about vacation car. That's the vacation car for any family or maybe the friends who's trying to go somewhere far away from the city and you're trying to choose which kind of car you're gonna get. You're gonna rent something or you're gonna take it from someone who's using it every day. And we're gonna talk about the Honda Odyssey, the one we have right now, that's 2018 EXL Honda Odyssey and it has about 70,000 miles on it. And I'm gonna tell you something about what's really cool and what's not so cool and about the small problems you might gonna get, you might gonna face. But again, uh, it's not the huge amount of money you have to spend to keep this car maintained and just enjoy the life and enjoy your trips wherever you wanna go. If you wanna go to Vegas, you wanna go Grand Canyon or just to New York, this car, it's just a perfect example of what you can get and what you need, in my opinion, if you do have a family, more than two of you, and a dog. So, this one, it's a, like I say, EXL, and it's kind of fully loaded Honda Odyssey with tons of options, plus it has a good engine, 3.5. I would say the best for the van like that, it would be all-wheel drive, but unfortunately, it's only front-wheel drive with 200 80 I think horsepower and 3.5 v6 engine so that's the Honda that's the v6 engine comes from the uh, period long time period ago whatever they invented made it on the Honda Pilot and the Odyssey the previous one they've been always doing something and to improve it to give you more horsepower to give you a lot of uh, kind of efficiency on the top of it any van and the Honda also it has a huge amount of huge capacity of the towing so means you can put the trailer on the back that's what some people doing and move some stuff from one state to another on from one city to other or if you're doing like dirt bike or some jet ski but instead just to put the trailer on the back they also doing the huge uh, roof rack and they put in a lot of stuff on the roof that's crazy i mean if you never saw it before you're probably gonna google it or you one day you might gonna pay attention on those people who's driving on the right lane like not so not so fast and they trying to go up on the five just to get somewhere maybe pyramid lake maybe some somewhere else but they have a lot of stuff on the roof they have a lot of stuff inside the car and they do have a trailer on the back and they trying to pull this by this poor honda something far away just to enjoy the life uh, and this car gonna gives you a lot of that so about the design it's it's really simple in my opinion there is a lot of space the cool point you're not sitting in the car you're actually walking in the car any door you're gonna open there is a lot of space you just can walk inside the car and sit comfortable on the back on the front even the third row seat you're gonna open the second row seat it's gonna go down fall down and you have a lot of space jump on the third seat so that's really cool what about the engine the common problem with this engine you might gonna get number one that's the motor mount and transmission mount what not gonna cost you too much the suspension maybe the shocks again because the people using it they not driving just comfortable a little bit of the city they using this car as much as they can and they enjoy it and this car gonna give you a lot of that enjoyable period of time when you're gonna taking care of it at the same time so the motor mounts is not the big deal some sensors like auto sensor whatever because again people using the cheap gas but this car is supposed to take 91 but i know a lot of people they use now whatever 87 is going to be good so by 70,000 miles you might going to get like some problems with the air which you again you might going to fix it yourself or really cheap because it's a honda it's not so many things you're gonna pay a lot of money for the maintenance or to fix on it but this car like i say 70 something thousand miles and it's already has some problem with the motor mount so the engine i can feel it jumping uh left and right a little bit if i'm gonna put the load on it i'm gonna feel it even more it is a super comfortable uh ride for you and for your family again we're talking about the family but we can use this car as a small owner business to move some stuff even if you work for amazon i do see a lot of people uh when i'm going to fedex i'm using this fedex once in a while uh every i would say 
three, four times a week I'm using FedEx and I see a lot of people who start working for FedEx, they use an exact the same car. Why? You probably understand why. So you can use it for Amazon if you're going to buy it and drive it for the family, but same time you want to make spare money and do something else, you might going to do so because the car going to allow you to do. So you're going to drop the seats all the way on the bottom, even the front passenger seat, you're gonna, you can move it and you're going to have a lot of space to put the boxes and just to do delivery. Uh, I'm not going to tell you about the job, you can find out yourself. Uh, but again, it's like multiple purpose car, family, for your work, for your business, if you are the businessman, or just the trips with your friends somewhere far away from the city just to enjoy the life. Uh, it's super nice. There is a huge amount of visibility around you when you're driving it. That's why you can see a lot of uh, young and old people driving it, maybe slower, maybe somebody driving it a little bit faster than the regular. So probably there is a young driver seated in it. And again, this car has a lot of power. It can give you as a not race car, but kind of fast car to drive on the freeway. But same time in the city, it's going to give you a lot of power just to pull some stuff or to put a lot of stuff in the car and still gonna be comfortable for you and for your ride. So it's a super demand car because again, there is, on the market there is not so many vans available. There is only like Toyota Sienna, Honda, Odyssey, and some other Chryslers. Like before it used to be Dodge Grand Caravan, all Chrysler town and country. Right now there is a Plymouth. Yes, Plymouth came back on the market. You're gonna check it out if you want so. And there is a Chrysler Pacifica. Uh, so basically, I mean, there is a Kia Carnival, uh, what else we have? We don't have any Hyundais because the Kia, they took that uh, spot on the market from the Hyundai and there is nothing else I would say available. So I'm trying to figure out what else available on the market, but most of them, when the people thinking about to buy the van, they're not thinking about Mercedes Metris because they're in a huge demand, they cost more money, those 2.0 engines, they kind of no good, and the C-classes, they prove it. Why they put it on the Metris, I have no idea. What else we have? BMW not doing one and nobody else doing it. So Honda, Odyssey, and Toyota Sienna, those two cars, they kind of uh, noticeable on the market and when the people thinking about the van they thinking about the Honda Odyssey I would say that's number one in the market I didn't check the data maybe it is number one in the market and number two I would say that Toyota Sienna those are two kind of same cars but I think the way they made it it's totally different even the key what I do like about the key smart key that's a small one right so the when the battery going that you can take it out and open the door manually pump the hood and jump it but there is a killer's go so there is a push start button there is a killer's go you can lock it you can unlock it but same time you can start the car so you see gonna work you can open the trunk by pushing the button it is a power lift gate and the cool thing about the keys i mean for some reason i do have a key for my other car that's the grand caravan gt it has exactly the same buttons but either or it's just a cool function. So by pushing the key, you can open the door. So for example, if you're walking from the market and you did a lot of grocery, you wanna put the stuff, you can open it. Same time you can close it. Just before you took the bags, you can always hold the key and the door gonna close itself. That's just insane. I mean, for the Honda Odyssey, because besides the Rolls Royce, Nobody else has a power doors. I mean the Tesla, but we're not talking about Tesla right now. So the price for this car, that's uh, 2018. And on the market with different mileage, you might gonna see it, the price changing between 25,000 and 35,000. Is it worth it? I mean, again, if you can afford the car like that, to keep it as a spare car on the side of the road at your house, I would say buy it 100% because you're gonna, number one, enjoy the time when you're driving it. Second one, it is going to be super useful for you and for your family, for all the kids, for the friends, whoever. Believe me, all your friends, they're going to appreciate you much more because every weekend they want to go with kids somewhere or they want to go themselves somewhere far away from the city. They're going to ask you for this car to borrow just because they cannot afford it. And you are the one who did so. So buy it because you're going to need it. 
and I'm going to show you a lot of different things inside the car, the way you're driving it, the way you're sitting, how you're going to put your kids, how you're going to put some stuff in the car, and it's just insane. I mean, the space this car providing you, the way it drives, the way you feel in it, there is nothing to compare to that. I mean, yeah, the new Sienna, it has a different price tax, and um, in my opinion, it's a different cars. They kind of same vans, they kind of same, doing the same function, but the Honda made it differently, and I do like it a lot. If you have the same opinion or maybe different, just put some comments, say, I do have the same car, and I don't like it a lot because it gives me a lot of power. My 200,000 miles Honda Odyssey just, just keep breaking, keep falling apart, and I'm going to tell you why your Honda is falling apart with high mileage. But if you have a low mileage Honda, you're probably going to say, uh, it's a nice car, I love it. Put some thumbs up and put any comments. Like I say, I'm doing a review for all the cars. I'm thinking it's really nice or not so nice, but really popular on this market right now nowadays. So I would appreciate your opinion and I would appreciate your comments and some other questions you might going to have. Uh, as much as I can, I'm going to help you out. So as I showed before, by pushing the button, you're going to release and open the trunk area. Let's see how much space you're going to get inside. I mean, you can put the football team, if it's a small football team, how many people? Seven, eight, nine, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff for that football team. You can put it on. So the seats on the back, they're not powered, unfortunately, but they are easy to install and to remove by putting it back. So there is a space inside the trunk. It just a lot. And besides the seven people in the car, we can easily see two of us, like me and the somebody, some human like me in front of me. And we can enjoy the ride by drinking the cold water and by watching the DVD right there. That's super cool. And uh, I think I would enjoy it if I have to do so and put, for example, my friends and my kids on the back and sit here for a while just because we're going somewhere far and the people don't have any other car besides my Honda Odyssey. And uh, that's cool. I mean, the space is just huge. Plus, there is a light. I can read some books or I can watch my iPhone. And so besides the nice comfortable seating in the trunk area, I can also charge my phone because I have a power outlet right here on the wall and I do have a lot of pockets. If it comes again to the cup holders, there is a lot of space I can see right there. I can easily put like six, at least four if they're huge. I can put four cups right there and behind me I have like two, three more spots for the cups. So there is a sound speaker on the side so I can listen to music, whatever they're doing. It is a comfortable. I mean, if I want to lay down by myself because I don't want to share this beautiful spot with someone else. If I'm going to put the pillow behind my head, I can lay down and maybe sleep for a while and I'm comfortable. I mean, if I'm not going to be comfortable, I'm going to put my legs like that and uh, that's it. And after that, I can put it back here and just sleep for a while while we're going somewhere far away. That's super nice. Honda, you are just amazing car for the trips I can take with anyone. So we're gonna close it. There is nothing else to show besides, like I said, the stuff you can put it just insane. There is a lot of boxes. There is a lot of different things for yourself or for the business. If you're doing moving and you're trying to, you know, you get a new apartment, you can use your Honda Odyssey and save some money on the moving. So let's check it out what's going on inside the car. If you want to jump on the back or on the back, back, back of the back seats. So as a passenger, if I want to go on the second row or I want to go on the third row seats right now, and I'm going to say there is not only seven people it's gonna be for eight people because even me I can squeeze myself and sit in the middle and there's two more people can sit on the left and right close by me so if you are the family guy and you don't care about different hangs right here so but if you are the businessman 
or you're working in the office and you're dropping your kids at the school and you want to put your suit here or your extra whatever short or maybe your suit you can do it here you can do it there 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 maybe there is only businessmen uh, going with you in this car you still can do it so you like the Starbucks or you just want to water and put it everywhere let's see how many cups cup holders it has so it has two here two here which is four and three more here which is seven there is two on the doors it's gonna come to nine ten eleven and there is eight more cup holders on the front between two front doors and the middle central console it comes to 19 cup holders in this car for the eight passengers they're just insanely a lot so you're probably supposed to like a lot of drinking water or different any kind of liquids you might gonna get so what we have on the third row right here besides the climate control for the second row but at the same time for the third row you do have some vents on the left and right side you can adjust it you can put more uh, fresh air going to your face on the top of it you're gonna get power outlet and you can charge your phone here so it has two wireless headphones for the second row but if you sit on the back and you want to enjoy the sound from the movie whatever people watching in the back you can get your earphones right and just plug it in here so if you don't have one just get it from your iphone plug it in and you can adjust the volume of the music or whatever movie is playing that's super nice that's just insane plus the light on the left on the right it's not working for some reason maybe it's just not working so what else i can say is it enough space for me to see it if somebody gonna sit in front of me i would say yes it is a lot and uh, i'm sitting here and there's two more space like i say even the the belt i can take the belt and click myself in not this one but the other one i'm gonna click myself in and that's it i'm uh, i'm safe now i do have a belt on the third row in a honda odyssey and the climate control working so you see it's blowing to my face i'm not gonna get hot i'm not gonna get cold if we're talking about uh, snow season and uh, i'm pretty much comfortable i do have my drinks on the side and uh, it's nice it's super nice i mean i never put myself on the third row before but i did it now and it's not that scary it's not that super un uncomfortable but if i need to get somewhere and be here and for example somebody gonna drive the car i'm gonna do so and i'm not gonna be painful or i'm not gonna be disrespected as a passenger of this honda odyssey that's super nice and cool so as i'm sitting on the second row as a passenger what i have here i have a huge door with sunshade right the window cover what is like optional on the bmw and mercedes but the honda odyssey exl has it so i do have a more cup holders in the door i do have a more if it's going to be you to the seat somebody going to sit and even the belt it's available right here so you can take the belt and you can click click yourself right in the middle even myself i can do it right but if nobody riding with you you don't have to use it as a seat you're going to use it as a what you're right you're going to use it as a cup holder and there is a three more available right here so what else i have i do have a hdma cable i can put it here and connect something there is two more usb charges available not usb c usb normal cables what else i have here i would say <clears throat> there is a seat it's probably yeah you can remove it and just leave two seats in the middle and this one gonna be just a tunnel somebody gonna go in and out in the middle that's super nice option and i'll tell you why for example you do have two kids in the back there is two adults sitting right here right and there's two more passengers in the front one driver and one passenger what you can do you can take this seat out and leave it in your garage so it's going to be more comfortable for all the passengers 
without opening the door or squeeze yourself between the door and the side of the seat just to go here in the middle that's going to be much nicer and much comfortable again if you don't need this as a seat you don't want to use it you want to use it as a tunnel to go through so besides that what are we getting we're getting the speaker for the sound system we are getting the huge tv dvd screen in the middle and we're going to get more cup holders right in the middle right here we're going to get huge pocket in the seat for a lot of different stuff you want to put there uh, i think the most usable part of these pockets back in the days it was for the maps so whatever you're going especially in the van you're going to have a maps everywhere because whoever driving in your car with you and you're going on a trip they all can read the maps and they can tell you where to go but instead of that just because uh but instead of just one pocket they made two pockets on each seat so the one on the top i think that's when the uh mobile phones era came they like okay let's put one more on the top so the people can put ipod or iphone or headphones or something else not the cigarettes obviously because there is no ashtray in the car right so you can put a lot of different devices here and just comfortable laying down and sleep if i want to take a nap during the trip i can do so and i am going to be super comfortable in this beautiful honda odyssey it's just insane any spot you choosing in this car and you trying to fit yourself in you can fit there easily i can put my legs down there and still is he gonna blow to them uh, even if you have a smelly food it's gonna blow away to the passengers behind you nice job so at the end i just check it out how much it's gonna cost you to buy the engine or transmission for this car because that's the useful information you might gonna use it you might gonna need it as a like a decision breaker and this car surprisingly the price for the for the engine it's only 1500 so means uh it's really rare the engine going apart or falling apart and uh, it, it gives a lot of problem you have to replace it like kia soul the kia soul for example the engine itself 1.6 cost about 4000 and the car itself about 8000 so this car about 30000 but the engine cost 1500 means it's a nice strong engine and it's probably going to be enough for the time you're going to use this car so number two that is the transmission cost transmission cost again i check it out that's between 2000 and 2500 to buy the whole transmission and it's not that expensive like the maybe Ford or maybe the same as a Hyundai I would say Sonata Hybrid the transmission just way too much for the car to compare the price of the car but 2000 for the Honda which you're going to tow a lot of capacity behind you the car you're going to put a lot of stuff on the roof and the car you're going to keep a lot of people inside the car it's not a huge amount of money I would say you would pay in case something going to break down and it's a good point it's a really important for the used car you buying because you're going to spend a lot of money for finance obviously if you have a family you're not going to buy a car for thirty thousand for the cash from your pocket or from your bank account you would keep that money there and you would finance this car and keep it as much as you can until it's gonna start falling apart so is it worth it to buy it for me my opinion it is worth it 100 percent if you don't have any car with seven seats and your family growing every year or every couple years think about it check one check two drive it around and see what they offering you don't buy the old one don't buy the high mileage one as a professional in my business i would say for you for your family you want to buy something which is gonna what is gonna be uh almost not uh, that expensive to fix and it's going to be low on maintenance low cost maintenance car the honda odyssey that's the one that's why the price for this car is still kind of high in the sky Thirty thousand for 2018 honda odyssey that's in my opinion too much but it could be a good choice if you're going to choose one and buy it to enjoy it and just to have it as a spare car but as a car number one in your family for the whole family it's going to be not a bad choice also thank you so much for watching it please subscribe put some thumbs up do some comments i mean you can argue with me if you want so or you can tell me i'm right and i like i love what you're doing uh again i appreciate all the comments all the thumbs up 
Thank you so much, guys, and see you next time.